right, guys, name is Tyler, aka Nanogenix, and today, per a ton of requests over the last month from Global, over the last few months from JP, we are finally making a sort of detailed list of all of the different summoning animations that are available now on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, per the huge update that they did. And even I made some mistakes, obviously, in the middle of summoning videos, so I was finally like, okay, let's sit down, let's do the research, let's figure out what all of these sort of summoning animations mean, then let's compile it into a nice, neat video. And today, also, as a bonus, towards the end of the video, I have two multi-summons worth of stones I'm going to do over on the JP side that I got from doing the new punching bag event, and of course, just logging bonuses and stuff like that. So, all of that in today's video. But yes, did some research. Um, also, shout out to my man, Z-Hall. Reached out to him just to confirm a couple that are kind of iffy on, and we have everything compiled here to talk about today. Now, I will definitely say, I've talked about Dokkan Battle to a couple people lately, IRL. They've asked me, what do I what do I suggest as far as singles and multis go? So I wanted to go ahead and just throw that out here to you guys as well. I highly suggest multis. I feel like most people will these days. While I don't see anything wrong with singles, because we all get that sort of ish to summon, sometimes we don't want to spend 50 stones, all of those things. Um, but the thing about it is you can sit there and do the five stones, five stones, five stones. Next thing you know, you're 10, 11 in, and you haven't pulled anything, right? And that would have guaranteed you at least an SSR, and especially these days with all the LR banners and uh, there being like 10 plus LRs on, well, Global has almost 10 or maybe right at 10, and I know JP has over 10. It could have been potentially one of those LRs, right? You could have at least guaranteed yourself some form of an SSR. Even if it was trash, it's probably more used to you than an SR was anyway. So I will definitely say, we're going to be primarily focusing on what these mean as far as multis go. But to start today's video off already, if you are doing singles, um, if you say he's base form, because that, that's not even possible, unless he's going to crack the screen, not even possible on a multi anymore since they are all guaranteed SSR. Uh, if you say he's base form, it is for sure rare, right, with a small chance of SR. SSJ1 is guaranteed SR with a small chance of SSR. This, again, is on singles. And then SSJ2 just increases your chances of it being an SSR, but it's still guaranteed SR. And then SSJ3 still is guaranteed SSR, and then the screen cracks and all that stuff. So, let's now hop in to what all these mean as far as multis go. Again, same thing, it's all guaranteed SSR, so SSJ1 doesn't mean too much. However, apparently SSJ1 can still screen crack. Now, I've not had this happen for myself, but I have had a couple people tell me they've gotten SSJ1 and it has still screen cracked. And the reason why that is sort of uh, relevant is because it could lead into a double screen crack, which we're about to talk about in just a second. So, that is worth noting. Let's hop into, though, all the screen cracks. So, we do have the Bye Guys. We still have It's Over Freeze It, and we still have Thank You Dragon Balls. All those are basically just still in the game. They still just mean that you're getting SSR. It doesn't change much. Same thing with SSA3. Still getting SSR. Doesn't change much. But then, if you get that double screen crack past the, uh, the standard ones, and you get the Oolong screen crack, then that means, and this is where it sort of throws a wrench into it because it can mean two things, which is why I think these have been confusing people why I want to make this video, is if it is a Dokkan Festival banner and you get the double screen crack, then it means you're getting a Dokkan Festival uh, SSR in that multi-summon. If it is a banner with LRs on it, such as the LR Goku and Frieza when they're about to summon on, it means you're getting an LR. Now here's where the confusing part comes in and why I've had a lot of people tell me they get this and some of the others and they don't get an LR is because if you summon on something like say the ticket banner that we've had live for the last month on the both sides of the game, um, there's both Dokkan Fests and LRs. So it could mean either or. And that's kind of where the sort of confusing part about it comes in. Like, hey Nano, I've got the double screen crack, didn't get an LR, you know, whatever it might be. Well, yeah, if you hop in on a Dokkan Festival and LR banner, that has both of them combined, it could be an either or situation. So anyway, that's why some of you guys have gotten double screen crack, haven't walked away with an LR, because it can mean both if you're on something like the ticket banner. And another time where this could be relevant, A, now that they've brought LRs into a Dokkan Festival banner like they did with the tickets, very possible we see them do that again. B, if we get back another LR Dokkan Festival banner, which you know we will because LR Vegito and Gogeta, then it could mean you're going to get them, or it could mean you're going to get one of the other Dokkan Festival uh, b b Dokkan Festival cards. But at the end of the day, those LRs are Dokkan Fest anyway, so you're still same same thing, same thing. Then we've got the character combos, the ones that we are looking out for are Krillin, and of course, obviously Goku is flying in as well. So it's not just Krillin by himself. Right. Well, it is Krillin by himself, but it is Goku at the base of all of this, and then all these characters plus Goku. So Goku and Krillin, something you're looking for. Then you're also looking for Goten and Trunks, Gohan and Piccolo, and then Tien, Chaozu, and Yamcha. Now, I do want to note here, Tien and, Tien and uh, Chaozu have been sort of, uh, I've been told those mean something. However, I've witnessed it twice now 
but they've not done what these are supposed to mean. And what all of this means are three things, either at least three SSRs, a featured unit, or an LR, right? And I'm, you know, obviously with the, the LR piece, it, it's a lot less, but we have seen even me within the last like couple weeks pull an LR, and that'd be the only, only sort of indicator from this off of just one of these combinations right here. So again, that's Krillin, Go Tin and Trunks, Go on and Piccolo, and uh, Tien Chaozu and Yamcha all mean either three or more SSRs, an LR, or one of the featured units off of the banner. Then another one that is sort of a big deal. A lot of people are like, what the crap is going on? Because you're saying one thing Nano and something else is happening is Hercule on Boo's back. And again, Hercule on Boo's back on say the Goku and Frieza banner, it means an LR. Hercule and Goku on the booze back on, say, the Dokkan Festival Goku banner or the Dokkan Festival Frieza banner means you're getting a Dokkan Festival unit. But then you hop down in the tickets, you do your tickets, you get Hercule on booze back, and you're like, hold up, I didn't get an LR. Well, yeah, that's because he means, again, either Dokkan Fest or LR. So you walked away with, I'm sure, one of those two, but there's obviously a big difference there between pulling an old school, uh, you know, STR Broly versus pulling, say, the brand new LR Broly. Actually, there's not now that his EZA is around, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, so that's where a lot of the confusion comes around, is that I got Hercule and Boost back, but I didn't get an LR. And another thing to note, which I probably should have said this before now, but for those that maybe don't pay too much attention to the character pulls, generally speaking, say like Goku's Dokkan Festival banner or Frieza's Dokkan Festival banner, there are no LRs in those banners to even pull them, right? The first time we've ever seen them mix Dokkan Fest with LRs, is the ticket banner that we, we've had for the last month. That is the first time this game has ever done that. Otherwise, whenever it's been a Dokkan Fest banner, there's Dokkan Fest characters with just sort of the generic sort of SSR pull, and then there's like double rates and LR banners that have the actual LRs in them. But the first time for them to ever mix the two is on that ticket banner. So that is a huge thing to note there for those that maybe didn't know that piece of it. If you do get these, on a Dokkan Festival banner, and there are no LRs, it's why you're not getting an LR, but you're getting a Dokkan Fest character. Also, a big piece of this worth noting. Then, beyond that, we got the new Super Saiyan God animation. Of course, once he goes from SSA 1 to 2 to 3, and then even past that to Super Saiyan God, it means you're getting three or more SSRs in that multi-summon. I love that one. I'm very ready to see the Super Saiyan Blue Kai and Goku, which we're going to talk about in a second. I'm going to hop into the summon system to sort of theory craft on that, since we don't actually know what that is just yet. Then past that are the two fusions. Super Vegito, a big one, right? Especially since a week ago I posted a video that said, wait, Super Vegito means LR, and he does. But here again, he means either Dokkan Festival on a Dokkan Festival banner or LR on an LR or Double Rate banner. But again, this happened to me. Uh, or it happened to a lot of people on the Ticket Fest banner and Ticket Fest banner, I guess it kind of it actually kind of works uh, on the Ticket banner and they didn't get an LR, right? But again, they got Dokkan Fest. So same thing, Hercule riding a booze back, same thing, double screen crack. They can mean either or situations because, well, now they're mixing characters with LRs and, and Dokkan Fests. That is why you're seeing this happening and you're not getting an LR. So Super Gito means either getting an LR on an LR banner on double rates, or if you're on a Dokkan Festival banner, it means you're getting a Dokkan Festival card or if you're on one that has both, it means you're getting one or the other. And then Vegito Blue is still, to this day, guaranteed LR. If you get Vegito Blue, one of the rarest animations for sure in the game, you are guaranteed yourself, my friend, an LR. And then last, but absolutely not least, the new fake outs, which again, these aren't as important as the others because these happen once you're already into the actual summon. Uh, but you'll get one of like 10 different silhouettes and it'll look like it's a rare you'll try and click on it it'll fake you out and it'll hop over and you're either going to get a featured unit or an lr right that's pretty much what those mean is you're either getting a featured unit from the actual banner or you're hopping in and you're getting an lr now let's go ahead let's hop into the actual game uh we've got my lr goku and frieza ready to go here just as you know like a nice good luck charm so let's go over here Let's do this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just do both multis on this. I kind of, I kind of thought about hopping into the Goku banner one more time, just because I need Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta's and I need Tech. Uh, there we go. There we go. Uh, I need Tech Vegito Blues. So we got Goten and Trunks. So we're gonna test this theory right now live with you guys. I've already tested it many times, but uh, we should get either three or more SSRs, a featured unit, or an LR. Let's see what we get. Um, now, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, what in the world could it mean? Could it go as far as to be something that me? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right. All right. So this is probably just meaning three or more featured units. Or sorry, three or more units is what this one's probably meaning since we got Goten and Trunks mixed with the Super Saiyan God animation. Now, do I think I'm going to pull? Do I think I'm going to actually pull 
an LR. Probably not. However, first summoning, first time ever summoning in the new merch. Guys, the new hashtag NanoFan merch. If you guys want to check this out for yourselves, you can click the link down below. It's uh, teespring.com slash store slash nanogenics. Uh, I also have a little like eye thing pop up in a sec that you can click. That'll be kind of like above my head. Um, and that you can take it over there and you can check it out. Anyway, uh, very, very happy with how this turned out. It's like, look, I just, I, I really like the retro sort of design for the NanoFam. That was four SSRs? That was four. Right? No, that was five. Holy crap! We got a, we just had a quintuple. We had a quintuple. Apparently, I need to talk more about the summoning animations. It, it doles out a nice little quintuple there. Okay, so that stood true. Goten and Trunks gave us, which we got Goten and Trunks and then Super Saiyan God, but Goten and Trunks gave us three or more SSRs and it ended up being five. So I'll, I will absolutely take it. What do we got this time? Anything? Okay, Piccolo and Shiatsu means literally nothing. However, this could still do something. All right, what do we got? We got two. Bro, if I get back, okay, let's see. If I somehow manage to follow some ridiculous back-to-back -back Super Saiyan God, man, it would be the first time. But yes, do I think I'm gonna pull an LR today in the new the new Nano Fam hoodie? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, all right. What you got for me? Anyway, I didn't actually get to finish it. But Super Saiyan Blue Kai can Goku potentially. I think it's going to revolve around something to do with um, Dokkan Festival units, probably. But it could it, it could be either... In my brain, I see it as obviously being another LR sort of factor. I think it's going to either be LR, Dokkan Festival, or something ridiculous like five or more SSRs. I think. Again, again, it's just theory, theory here. Just theory crafting here for what I think it could be. Um, and I guess we'll wait. We'll see. It is in the files, right? The Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, we've seen it, it's just not been implemented into the game, right? Like, it's not something you can actually get when you are summoning. But, that has been today's video. I hope you guys found this one helpful. Um, it is worth noting, which I probably should have put this earlier than now, but if you're watching this a year or two years from now, it's possible that we've had even more updates, even more changes to it. And again, as we potentially see more LR Dokkan Festival units, some of these, some of these sort of uh, situations are going to sort of be you know very sort of situational depending on which banner you're summoning on and so i think that's maybe where some of the confusion is it's worth noting right some of these can mean either or as i said many times in this video already and it's also worth noting that when you're summoning on a banner that can be either or you know don't get too excited about super vegito if you're on a banner that has both lrs and a ton of dovon festival can Ban blah, 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 characters like the uh, ticket banner. So, anyways, guys, that has been today's video. As I said, I hope you guys found it helpful. If you're new to the channel, you're not done so yet. Consider hitting that subscribe button down there. Also, consider slapping the like button if you enjoyed today's video. Guys, have a great, great day. Keep on keeping on. Nano Genic sign off, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.